Hello everybody, Mechler Games here today, coming at you with a couple of replays of why Cyber Dragon Infinity is really the most broken card ever. So we're going to start off with a slow play one where I get into it pretty slow. But to, to start, you know, I just set my ice hand. He goes, I'm like, nope, not having that, so I bought, so I banish his Shiro with Deep Prison. And I'm just going to poke him with a bunch of hands. So th this game is kind of a slow progression for my deck. This usually, usually, well, usually doesn't happen with this deck. But this is, like I said, a pretty slow progression. Doesn't exactly do much. He goes to summon. I bottom play. Uh, I bounce back to the hand, and I just poke him. And then this is where it's just like, yeah, you know what? I am just going to. I could have made Gaga a cowboy, but at the time, you know, I don't have it in the deck, as you can see here. I don't have it. Uh, but I just made Cyber Dragon Infinity get off those draws. And at this point, it's just like, oh hey, you made Hawk Joe. You know, Hawk Hawk Joe. You know, killed that. So that that wasn't a very good, uh, very good play for that. But you know, Jeff here decides, oh let's make Beals. Well, yeah. So this replay, you know, doesn't really get to show off too much of what well doesn't get to show off what Cyber Dragon Nova really can do. So this is kind of a bad replay, but I did get it out. So that just shows like how this deck can get it out. Now, here's here's one obviously with infinity in the name so this is probably one that works okay there we go so what the hell okay so this is against my friend Dan he gets in a fluffle dog he summons his sheep bounces his dog back gets sabers so sheep in the deck is really good but here I go I I actually have plays I can do and this is before I edited the deck a little bit so this is this is still when it's a little slow at getting it out but I just basically clear out his stuff, I set four, and at this point Dan's shitting himself because he's like, oh my god, you just set four cards, like what am I gonna do? <laughs> like he was like nearly shitting himself. But at this point I Okay, yeah, he does that. And I didn't want him going plus off of the vendor. I should have just waited for him to actually send a uh, send a card for vendor's effect, but I was stupid. I didn't exactly wait. But now I have Bubble Man in the hand, so all I really need to do right now is just draw one monster and then I pretty much can do things. So he makes Leo, which I don't know why I didn't make Tiger. Tiger would have been better for him to go for, but instead he makes Leo. And then at this point, it's pretty much just like, you know, I flip this, bring her back, she becomes level 4, and then make Ptolemyos into Nova into Infinity. And I think at this point, Dan just quits. I think at this point he quits. No, he goes in for that last turn play. He goes Factory. Decides not to use Tiger's effect because he knows that I'm just gonna just gonna negate it. So I'm just like, you know what, Miracle Fusion, bring out zero, take his tiger, and then kill him with zero. So that that wasn't exactly the best replay that I could actually show you guys for the deck. Uh but here is another one where Infinity probably gets me a win again. Why does it keep putting it on the other side? Like why is Jeff player one when I was the one playing? Like, this is me, and it would put him as player one. Like, what the fuck? Because he's got the sleeves I was using. Damn it. So, yeah, basically, he goes, starts off, and I bounce his, you know, curse back. Because I, I know he has Kalut. At this point, you know, I just know that he's just trying to psych me out, and he's just trying to play around me. And, you know, I, I, I'm just not falling for any shenanigans. You know, I know how he plays his Black Wings. So at this point, I mean, I, I just know exactly what he's trying to do. You know, I go Rota. I Rota bring that out. Go this. Make Telemios. Make Infinity yet again. Take his Bora. And at that point, he's just like, ah, fuck. So this is... It's actually funny because to the day that I rec that I saved these replays, we actually went six games... We, we, we played seven games, and it was six to one. Uh, as the record, he literally played against me until I couldn't win. And the last duel that he tried, he used Fire Fist. But yeah, that's that's just another one of those replays where it's just like, yeah, it's too good. And then this one is the last one that I'm going to show you guys. Also against Jeff yet again, even further. I set a Fire Hand. He opens broke this game. He actually legitimately opens broke. And I first hit his Black Sonic. And I summon my hand. And then here comes Ptolemyos. 
he goes to nuke my back, or I'm like, okay, whatever, you know, I don't care. Because he, he knew I was making this. So he just kills my back row and does things with it. I take his Shirako. <laughs> and now I'm just poking away at his monsters. Because at this point, it's pretty much game. Because he, he doesn't have anything to do. So now he's now he's just trying to bait me out. So that he can actually make a play. Into like Nothlung or something. He MSTs. was like, damn it, that's not going to do any good. IMST, his wiretap. Wiretap would have hurt, but I had infinity. So he, he sets a blizzard. You know, it he could have done stuff. Tried to force me to negate. But at this point, he just kind of let me kind of just take over and win. And I don't know why he didn't choose to stop that, actually, because he could have he could have done stuff. But yeah, this is this is the earliest version of deck build. I do have an updated deck build a bit, but I'm not gonna show it off. But yeah, this is this is this is a ranked four deck that I've been playing. It just its purpose is to get into infinity, and it does it really really quickly and really well. Oh, oh, this is actually an awesome replay uh, as well that I actually did get with it. Well, I actually did get infinity with. I did lose this game though, but this this does show off. Uh, Cyber Dragon Infinity's power a little bit. So then I, I make King. You know, at this point, you know, I got. I was like, oh yeah, you know, I got some stuff. I can do stuff. He MSTs gets rid of my ring. You know, at the I at this point, I didn't exactly know what he was playing because he didn't he didn't exactly summon her to anything. He just sets a card, and I didn't know what it was. So I'm like, yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna go in. So I made a four material Telemios and then made it into infinity and he chose not to use Rose Lover's effect I don't think I don't know if he could actually use it at that time oh he used it then but I negated Sage Koya and I didn't realize he had another Sage Koya in hand so I mean I kinda of feel like that was a smart play to do but then at this point he's just like kinda of going off and going ham just going into plays he's down to 3300 at this point he makes his hermit tree, he goes off, he's just doing his thing, he makes big eye, he takes my thing, he takes my infinity. Now here's here's where hands actually are quite good. So at this point I'm thinking like, oh you know, I can bait him out. So I was gonna bounce big eye, he goes infinity, negates Castell. I crash my hand and disc well into infinity and I'm just blowing up his stuff, I'm blowing up his field. I'm literally just owning his entire field. I've just cleared it all that turn. So at this point it's resorted to top decking, he summons Marshall Leaf, mills a hermit tree, gets spore, makes a fucking star eater. At this point, this is where it's pretty much game for me, because I didn't draw into anything I could use. I just summoned her in defense. And he just, he gets Miracle Fertilizer. So at this point, it's definitely game. There's no chance of me coming back from this kind of loss. Considering I get E-Telly and I only had two uh, Rise Bell as my targets. And they were already in the grave, so I couldn't exactly do anything with it. So yeah, that's that's kind of one way you can clear uh, clear fields out with hands. People just don't often uh, often see or use. So yeah, that's uh, that's all the replays that I have to show you guys today. Um, I hope you guys enjoy these replays and seeing kind of the potential power of the deck I've been playing. It basically gets infinity every game, every game, every game. Sometimes double infinity. So, it's it's powerful. So anyways guys, thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, and I will uh, see you guys later in the next video. Peace out.